All right. So I'm back. It's been, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 minutes. Okay. I thought the audio was all messed up. But OBS freaked out. OBS stopped working for a minute. I hit the stop recording button and it still showed it was recording. So I had to force close it. Scared that I messed up the recording somehow. But no, I just had to force close it, reopen it. Uh, the video recorded correctly, so it is okay. It is all good. Um, but as I was talking before the episode ended, or last episode ended, Final Fantasy XIII. Um, unfortunately, it was the end of the episode or end of the series, and I did not get to finish the. Um, I did not get to finish it. We got hard lock. We got walled by a boss. We didn't have enough output. There was just it was impossible to beat. Now. The nicest comment I have ever received on YouTube to to date is on that episode. It is Demon's Den. Uh, it is the nicest thing that any stranger has ever said to me. And I say stranger because there was no reason for you to put that on there. We were not, uh, we're not related. I don't know you outside of uh, YouTube. It is extremely nice. And I am thankful, like a hundred percent. I'm thankful for everything. I'm thankful for all that you've done for sticking around, for writing that. The fact that you said, I watched both of the episodes before this one to prepare for this one made me cry. It brought, it brought a tear to my eye and I had to, not this one. I immediately sent that message to one of my good friends i sent that message to one of my friends who knows i'm doing youtube stuff and it's just it's amazing i sent that and we were both so excited and i am i'm so happy thank you you know who you are i'm not going to call you out specifically but you're able to go to the um you're able to go to the video and see but Thank you so much. You legitimately have no idea how nice that was. I am very thankful for your kind words, for everything you've done. And I'm glad that you appreciate my content. I'm glad that you appreciate everything I'm doing. And I just want to say thank you personally. I... There, there are no words to... It's hard to put into words just how much that comment meant to me, you know? People are full of... Or the internet's full of horrible people, rude people, and you are a very kind soul to say that to me. Thank you. 100%. I, I mean it. I, I'm very thankful. Honestly and genuinely. Now... Getting that all out of the way, uh, we have this stupid thing to deal with. Hey, guess what? It's Arcadiumon. You know, the thing that takes forever to kill. I hate this. I hate him so much. Just, he takes so much damage. Ooh, attack charge field. This is going to do a decent amount of damage right here. 342. That is not nearly as much as I was hoping. Okay. Um, full Moon Blaster. 99. Awesome. You have an Acceleration Boost, though. And then we have Quo... Quo Vadis. Whatever it's called. So as soon as your next... Turn hits... We should be fine. Uh, we'll do Acceleration Boost again. Just buff our attack as much as possible. Alright, Quo Vadis. This is going to be a times three. How much damage is this going to do? 1870. That is so much damage. We're just going to do this one. Because... His, his, uh, his damage output is just not worth it. 342, baby. 19. That's even worse. 
Uh, I'm just going to attack. Yeah, it's he doesn't do nearly anything, so it's not worth it. Huh. Mock Rush 2. We're just going to do Quo Vadis. We're going to see how much this does. This should kill. But, yeah. So, I won over my comment. I've won over OBS breaking. I've won over a uh, couple other things, I think. There is one thing I've been meaning to do, but I could not because this popped up and it wasn't just finish the billboard. Uh, another one pops up, do whatever. I was going to uh, Clyde. Clyde can digivolve into something. And I have been meaning to do that. So as soon as I get the chance, I'm going to. And by as soon as I get the chance, I mean as soon as things are dying down and it wants me to do other things. So we're just going to let this play through as much as possible. I will pause the episode after. We will do the digivolving and then I will open up the episode again. It shouldn't take too long because I'm not, again, I'm not too worried about things breaking. Oh no, I got hit again. <laughs> yep, there we go. Oops. I took a sip of water. I didn't say anything, but I don't think I have to. Have I checked the board lately? Okay, cool. It's billboard PC time. It is pause episode time. And when I come back, I'll be right here and you'll see the new and improved Clyde. So instead of him looking like this, he will look different. So I'll be right back. All right. So we're back. We have, we've done a little bit of messing around. Uh, Clyde is now a unicorn guy, which I think is really funny because we also have another uh, Tito doing that um we need gatomon giramon and akilamon for a certain um uh what am i trying to say for a certain digivolution uh we might have to do a little bit of off-camera stuff with garamon because it's necessary and they're all necessary to be cam at 100 percent, and it just happened to work this way so we're keeping it uh, Evangelists, Love of Sistermon. Ooh! At Seal and Blanc's Digimon Gym. Kowloon level 3. Okay. Okay, so it's just perfect. I didn't know if it was going to kick me out right away to get there. So we'll go to Kowloon level 3. Um, but we theoretically should be... Alright... In terms of um, stuff, I'm still not gonna fight any unwarranted uh, Digimon because I still don't need the experience. We're gonna run up because this is faster before we go to the left and to the right. Or I thought it was gonna be faster. Might not be. But we're not gonna fight any Digimon that we don't need to. So these random encounters, uh, I'm gonna put up high security just to make sure that we don't have to deal with those. Um. Greatly reduces. So we're going to put this up so that way we don't have to run into them nearly as often because we're only going to be fighting mandatory Digimon fights because we don't need to add any extra length to these series. Um, not that this series isn't going to be fun and all of that kind of stuff, but it's just it adds it just adds time and it's not super necessary. Ooh. I know I've already looked at him. What is he? Lobomon. Okay. But I don't want to add any extra time to this series because, as we found out last episode, it's already going to be extremely long. Is this where? It is where. Uh, we did just save. We'll be fine. Um, but the series is already going to be extremely long. So I don't want to make it longer, <laughs> if that makes any sense because it's it's a fun game 100 percent. i recommend playing this game uh if you can it's on uh playstation it's on steam it's on p uh it's on switch i don't know if it's on xbox but the digimon cyber sleuth and digimon cyber sleuth hackers memory which i'm such long names but i would highly recommend playing this game if you have not played it 
because whether it be modded or unmodded, this game is really fun. It takes a long time if it's unmodded, but so if you're going to play this game, I would recommend playing it on PC. I would recommend upping the, uh, not randomizing the encounter rate, but upping the experience gained, uh, upping the uh, scan rate for stuff, and then playing through it. Uh, also put on the skip dialogue option for when you really just want to mash through everything. So I would highly recommend playing this game that's right, I'm all that's left demons. Sure. I highly recommend playing this game. If you will play it, play it on uh, uh, PC with those mods installed. That way you can at least get through the game in a reasonable manner and not have to spend 70 hours playing through it. Playing through Digimon Hacker, Digimon Story, Cyber Sleuth. Hacker's Memory is technically the better game because it gives you the Digimarket uh, awesome quake. This should kill at least a couple of them. Whoa. Oh, uh, what if we go to Digimon? We've got other Clyde, which is this. Okay, so we don't have any neutral, nor do we have any. Oh, we have a couple vaccine. Uh, we're just going to a normal attack. The Digimon types don't necessarily come into play, but they are kind of helpful when it comes to certain aspects. Uh, Mock Rush will keep. Uh, Saint Knuckle will keep. Hell Crusher. Cross Counter. Akilamon. Clyde has a few attack break fields. Um, drop that. No, we'll drop uh, Awesome Quake. Repamon, Giramon, Gilmon, Gatomon. What's the matter? Get back to your feet. But I recommend this game. I really do. Uh, for as much as I rag, like, nag on it for just kind of how repetitive and grindy it can be, if you can get past those aspects and you can... If you can look past it, I would highly recommend playing this game for... Not necessarily the story, but when you get to high level gameplay in this game, by high level I mean like chapters like 15 to 20. When you get to those kinds of things, you get to see a lot of really cool Digimon designs. I also think the leveling system is interesting in this game. I recommend, um, ooh, Garurumon. Do I have to fight these guys again? But it's a really cool uh, system for uh, making your Digimon stronger. It really sucks that you get limited by your memory. That's cool. That's really cool. Ooh. Ooh. That's awesome. I didn't realize that they get Digivolve. I'm going to have to look out for those things then. But for this game, never mind. We're, oh, geez. What are these things? Oh, and then there's this guy. I didn't even see him. Why? Why? So we've got Marine Anjamon, Metal Garuru, Kaiser Greymon, and Seraphmon. That is, that's gonna hit not a lot of people. What if we just do Meteor Fall? How much damage is that gonna do? That does not do a lot. Uh, Mock Rush, this should do a little more. There we go. We'll do another Mock Rush. Jeez, these things take. Seraphmon takes way too much damage. I don't like this. I don't like this fight. 23. Why? Oh, why did these things... No. Why? Game, why? Why do you hate me? This one. Full Moon Blaster. Wow, that was a lot. Okay. Uh, what if we do this?
But yeah, uh, I just went on a long tangent as to why you should play this game, because I highly recommend it. Shining laser, that's gonna hit all of us. Ooh, not bad. Uh, we'll do acceleration boost, because we'll need the damage buff. Oh, okay. I was... Sorry about that. I was, like, kicking my foot on the ground. I didn't realize that was getting picked up on the microphone. That is totally my bad. Full Moon Blaster. This should do a decent amount. Perfect. Wow, the one time Tito, like, came in handy on a main fight. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm sorry about the knocking on the floor here. I didn't realize that was uh, coming through on the microphone until I just happened to look over. But... Yeah, after I've gotten off of my soapbox as to why you should play this game, we are halfway through the episode. This, it has a really interesting Digivolve, the Digivolve mechanic. I really appreciate it. But it's it's really annoying when it comes to the memory issue. Uh-oh, do I have to fight them again? Seal, Blanc. <sighs> Yeah, she's just singing. Ha! Just got punched in the face. But, yeah, it's the memory is an issue. So once you get to like higher level gameplay in this game, it becomes a problem because you have to, um, uh, you have to worry about your memory consumption. We don't have that problem because, uh, we don't have that problem because of these. The memory ups we have. Uh, we'll just pop them all. But you can only have a certain amount of memory. I don't know if I talked about this in the first episode. You can only have a certain amount of memory uh, Digimon. Uh, memory that Digimon can take up before you run out of space and you have to do... Ask Mirie. Uh, but if we have to do all that kind of stuff, because we are going to the Digilab, I'm going to mess with my Digimon just a little bit more. Why are you here? Jim was doing really well. Thanks to you. I mean, it was doing really well. Get super fired up. I forgot to um, mess up the whole gym. Cecile and I are rambling around Kowloon and Mirie found us. Just sitting around while work is on pause would be boring, so we said to thank you for the gym by helping you back. If you ever want to know anything about raising or battling Digimon or whatever, just ask. Okay, so you're just gonna talk about stuff. Never mind. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna pause. I will go through some more Digivolve stuff, and then when we're done here, we'll go talk to Mirie. So give me one minute here. All right, so we are back. Customer rumbling at K Cafe in Nakano. Okay, K Cafe in Nakano. I put uh, Gira, Giranimo, Giramon, whatever his name is. Um, I put him in to increase his intelligence, and as soon as that is increasing and it gets to the point that we want, which I will check after this episode is over, um, we should theoretically be able to get that uh, Cam. Uh, Digivolution. Not gonna know. I believe K Cafe. But yeah, that is all that we had for our Digivolving stuff. Um, I dropped a few. Uh, I dropped a few Digimon off. Um, I had a black. I got a black metal Garurumon. I didn't even touch my people, which I should have done Repamon, but I was more focused on like very specific instances but um we're whenever i get the chance to do the digivolution uh camaraderie stuff i don't pay attention all right miri where am i going now but it's it's all cool it's all enjoyable Solve some more cases. Okay. Time to head back to the uh, 
back to the computer, which I'm actually kind of tempted to end this episode early for honestly no reason other than I want to, but no, nah, we'll get through this. We got 10 more minutes. I'm going to have to get through this part of the game anyway. These, this is just the long haul. Like this is why this game takes so long. It's not only the uh, level progression where you have to constantly go back and forth with, with your Digimon to make them stronger, but also the fact that there's just so much running around in this game. Um, it feels like an MMO at times where it's telling you to go here, then go here, then go here. And it's like always all across the map. But I think that's just to get some gameplay out. Lend me your one day girlfriend. Okay. Hacker points, HP generator, dark lizard mon. Interesting. All right. But now that we have this, we don't have to worry about talking to uh, Mirie. He's in Shibuya? Tokyo Handy. Is that like just a store? Oh, never mind. Is this Tokyo Handy? Yeah, alright. Strange, but... Okay. Um, yeah. Thanks for taking my case. Just speed through, I don't care. I just hit the microphone. It's been a while since I've done that, but I'm just uh, messing around with some stuff on my desk here. Um... This game takes a long time because of, like, the level progression. If you don't have that to worry about, then it's not that bad. Head to the aquarium. Well, we're in Ikikuburo. I don't know where the aquarium is, though. Not here. Okay. Uh, precious, precious. Is the aquarium out here? Maybe. Amusement park. Game world. No... No, I think I have to keep going. Iki Burko. Yeah, because we're in Iki Bukuro. Iki Bukuro. I'm just going to say we're in the cafe. Or we're in the um, computer cafe. Internet cafe. That's what it's called. Uh, can't go in there. That's the cafe for hoodie. Can't go in there. Can we talk to you? Nope. Can we go this way? Nope. Can we... Uh, go down here. Yes. I think this is the first time I've been down here. Interesting. Um, sure. I don't know what's happening at all. Um, yeah, so this game takes a long time. I know I keep saying that because it's true and I just feel bad for saying it, but this game takes a long time out of principle of that was fun. I uh, almost forgot you weren't a girl. Oh, so I'm playing girlfriend. The amusement park is, oh yeah, the Ferris wheel is being repaired. Next closest one would take 30 minutes to reach. What should we do? Good place nearby. Somewhere with a Ferris wheel. Take the utter Kowloon level one. Why? Why? That doesn't make any sense. Under Kowloon level one. I'd understand if it was Kowloon, like normal Kowloon, because uh, Kowloon level one has um, like a playground area on it. But I guess under Kowloon level one works. Dun oh, because this. Okay. I didn't even process that these were here. But, oh. oh, I'm so tired. And I woke up, like, not even that long ago. Um, But you can't say <laughs> River is nothing if not a good girlfriend, which I never thought I'd have to say that out loud. Uh, not that I'm, like, whatever. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Meteor Fall, which should kill at least two of you. It only got one of you. That's unfortunate. Mock Rush. Let's see what happens here. I don't know what I was going with that statement, so I'm just going to drop it. We'll continue on. Yeah. Mock Rush. Thankfully, no one is leveling up, so I don't have to deal with that. 
hopefully, and I do mean this like legitimately, we can get through chapter seven by the end of this episode, because we're not ending the episode until after we finish the, um, so we finish this billboard posting. So even if it takes another five minutes, or even if it takes six minutes, we're not waiting, or we're not uh, finishing until we're done. But hopefully, if we can get through chapter seven uh, this fast, I would be extremely happy because that means we're flying through this game and uh, aquarium, because that's top one, I don't know. Uh, but this game would be able to be going by really fast, and it would make me feel like such a dweeb to have played the first game on my PlayStation so fast. Or not so fast, but I, it took me like a while to beat that game. I was, I was also in college at the time, so any like online classes I was doing, I just... You've got to be kidding me. Ha <laughs> ha all right, chapter eight. We're going through this game really fast now. And I don't know if it's just because uh, it front loads the story so much or like what's going on. But I guess we're going until I gain access and gain control again. Because I still want to check on Garamon to verify that. What? Wormon? Wormon, why are you pixelated? What's going on? Uh, anyways. Uh. Oh, sprinting through this game is gonna be fun. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna get through it. And if we get through a chapter, an episode now, because they front load everything, I think they front load and back load everything, and everything in the middle is just like periodically, uh, whatever. But Erica says it'll be okay, but I wonder. I think I better talk to you. Chitose. Oh, dude, why? I thought I was going to be able to control stuff. Granted, we're still not, like, at the end of the episode. Shibuya. Okay, so... What's Digiline? Where's the Digiline? Shibuya Records in Shibuya? I'm leaving for work early, so don't be late. Okay. Um, This is going to be the end of the episode. Uh, Thankfully, it ended on a nice note. We just finished chapter eight, and I am extremely surprised at that because last episode we just finished ch chapter six and we like just started seven. So if this is going to be how it's going, we're going to get through this in like another there are 20 episodes or 20 chapters. We're on chapter eight. Um, we're in like a minimum of like 12 episodes, obviously, but I'm assuming we're going to get done in like 15 more uh, just depending on how stuff goes. Maybe ch maybe the middle chapters, the chapters between like 10 and 15. I can get through like two of them every one episode, but who knows? It's just, I really hope that we're able to sprint through this game because I like this game. I know I keep like bad mouthing it for other reasons, but I really do like this game. I think it's a really good game. I just think that it takes too long normally. But other than that, it's a good game. I enjoy it. The leveling mechanics are cool. The ability to digivolve and then de digivolve to get different stuff to max out stats for ABI. ABI is kind of annoying, but everything else I think is really cool. I'm going to stop talking now because I'm just repeating myself and talking in circles. So have a wonderful day. Hope you enjoyed the episode. I will catch you all in the next one. Peace out.